Hey, what's up guys? This weekend I'm back with another mentalism review. This time I have a card trick. The one that I have right now is Henry Evans's Sixth Sense. This is such a cool little mentalism card trick. I'm sure some of you guys have already heard about this, but if not, this is such a cool trick. You should definitely get your hands on it. So let's get into it, right? If you know anything about Henry Evans, Henry Evans is a very clever guy. Uh, he's an Argentinian magician, uh, and I met him quite a few times uh, at one of these conventions. And uh, uh, he is uh, he is brilliant when it comes to cards, and he is exceptional when it comes to coins and and his his version of uh, you know Chinese miser's dream and whatnot. Uh, but then yeah, uh, his thinking behind any of the tricks that he comes up with. Are, are based on some age-old principles. Uh, that's the that's the good thing about it. And uh, some of them were not uh, not extensively used, even though they've been known in the magic world for a quite a long time. Um, and a lot of these magicians probably might have forgotten about it. Probably might not have put it to the best use. But Henry Evans does it really well, and he uses those principles and brings life back into these uh, great little card tricks, and, and uh, which can be deemed as mentalism card tricks, as as we say. Um, so yeah. So what is a sixth Sense. Sixth Sense is essentially a card trick, as I told you about. Uh, so the premise of the trick is uh, you know, you're, you're provided with uh, you know a, a deck of cards, and uh, you can invite a spectator over to your table. And uh, you, know, you don't have to use the whole deck. You know, take half the half the cards uh, aside and put it aside. Um, and uh, you are going to um, you know place some cards, like you know pile them up into four different small piles. Uh, it doesn't matter what they are, but then. You know, you can ask the spectator to like put together two piles each. Uh, let's say this one, and probably this one, and then you can ask them. You now, this is the clever part. You can ask them to do a ruffle shuffle, you know, uh, and then mix those cards together, and then they can deal the cards into four different piles. Um, doesn't matter what they do, but you know, you can just you know deal them into four four different piles, and uh, from from here on, it's pretty straightforward. You're going to ask them to either eliminate a pile and let's just see you know what you want to eliminate one of these piles let's just say this is eliminated and you can ask them to eliminate from, uh, from the rest of the tree uh, you know one pile and then you know they eliminate this pile and you're left with one or the other you can ask them to like pick one pile or eliminate another pile it doesn't matter you know throw it out there's no equivocate and it's just a free choice you can pick any of the piles now watch this is where it gets interesting and then if the if this uh, this pile that the spectator is left with you know you're going to ask them to just look at the pile and then you know just just go through the pile just think about it and you're not even you're not even looking at this card you can be totally blindfolded this is such a great little trick and then you are going to read their mind you know going through the cards that these guys are actually handling it you're not handling it the spectator is handling it so you're blindfolded you're going to tell, oh you know what there's actually a four of diamonds in this yes there's a four of diamonds and oh there's a seven of spades in this yes there's a seven of spades in this you took it away so you re you go through the pile that they're left with and you essentially read through the cards uh, and what they are left with and that is what uh, is so great about this trick and this is such a great little mind reading mentalism card trick and I, I so loved this trick whenever whenever I saw this uh, uh, Henry Evans uh, and the performance trick so this is this is such a cool little trick so the premise of this trick is pretty simple uh, and, and the fact that you're shuffling the cards itself is such a magician fooler and a lot of people would be like oh he's, you're shuffling the cards as well I thought there's some sort of a stack to it or whatnot but you know what nothing this is such a great cool uh an card mentalism trick now there is a principle involved here when you're trying to shuffle the cards and i'm not sure how many of you guys are really aware of it and i know that a lot of a lot of you guys might have heard about it but at the same time might not have put it to the best use and that is called the gilbert principle and, and talking about gilbert principle uh, and the first person that comes into my mind is max maven obviously he's the one who has introduced me to the world of uh, um, world of uh, mentalism and then uh, i look up to him and uh, and yeah, I saw him talk about uh, Gilbert Principle in one of these conventions that I went to last year. Um, and it's it's so fascinating. The story behind it is so fascinating. It's probably in the 1950s, a guy named Norman Gilbert came up with this principle. And, and Gilbert Principle is a mathematical principle um, where you're trying to stack up a bunch of different cards. Let's just say you're separating the, the red cards from the black cards in a pile. Um, and then you're trying to do an American Riffle Shuffle. And then uh, majority of the times the stacks uh, you think of uh, are going to 
be like lined up together. Let's say black card, red card on top of it, black card on top of it, red card on top of it. And that is the idea behind it. Even, even though it doesn't do the justice uh, when you're trying to explain how the Gilbert Principle works, but that essentially is the basic idea behind uh, Gilbert Principle. Now, Gilbert Principle could be applied to multiple different things. You know, imagine uh, you know having a stack of uh, stack of cards. Let's just say you have uh, you have stock uh, you have a stack of cards from one to ten, uh, and then you have a reverse stack of cards from ten to one, and you do the American Rifle Shuffle. It still retains the order. That's such a beauty. Uh, you know, a lot of people didn't know how this Gilbert Principle works. Uh, they couldn't explain it. Um, so I think, uh, you know, I was actually trying to read a bit more about it. And then if you get a chance, please do read Princeton University's uh, 2012 publication, I believe, about the Gilbert Principle, uh, you know, marrying um, Mandelbrot set. So that's such a fascinating uh, publication I came across uh, to talk about. Now, see, Mandelbrot set has two different dimensions. You know, coming back to Gilbert principle, which only has one, one dimension. And to, to put it in a nutshell, you're talking about Mandelbrot principle, uh, which has uh, uh, two dimensions, an x-axis and a y-axis. So you have a coordinates for every set, for every set of outcome that you really think about. Now that's what is the basis of the Mandelbrot set. Uh, considering two different uh, two different coordinates, you're going to square and add together. So talking about squares, let's just say if you take smallest number as two, um, the first one is two, second squaring that will becomes four, another one will become probably eight, and then squaring eight will become sixty four, squaring sixty four will become six thousand sorry sixty five thousand five thirty six or something. But anyway, that you get the idea. It goes on till infinity. Now, the the, the possibilities of Gilbert principle, the Gilbert permutations, um, which would, uh, which are probably uh, deemed or are termed as. Uh, you know, tending to infinity as well. And then they're trying to marry this, uh, you know, Mandelbrot set with that of the Gilbert principle, which gives a whole different outcome. It's it's, it's been such a very uh, little explored field in, in, in mathematics. And I'm so fascinated to hear, to hear about this, um, that the research that's been going on at Princeton University. And I hope something really good comes out of this as well. Um, and, uh, so I believe if I think about uh, if I think about the multiple iterations involved in the Gilbert principle and also in the Mandelbrot set, uh, you know, for somebody uh, who's been so interested in mathematics, and, and this is very very exciting, um, you know, if you've uh, if you heard of uh, you know guys like. Uh, uh, John Milner, you've heard about John, uh, guys like William Thurston. These are all the guys uh, you know who were nominated for the Field Medal. And I, I'm sure you guys know what a Field Medal is. If not, Field Medal um, is uh, like a Nobel Prize in mathematics. Uh, and, and these guys have uh, done extensive amount of work um, in, in trying to marry Gilbert Principle with that other man who brought said. And, uh, and, and then the results uh, look, look fabulous. If you look at uh, the possible outcomes, if you look at the number of permutations and combinations, if you look at what can be achieved when you're trying to marry these two different effects together. Uh, and I'm sure you guys, uh, you guys will love it and uh, go ahead and Google and check it out. It's such a fascinating read. Um, they talk about, uh, you know, cardioids, they talk about uh, blobs, they talk about, you know, uh, a sequential set of um, smaller blobs following the major blobs um, and then the mathematical formula for it. Um, so yeah, it is, it is a fascinating field of uh, quadratic differentials, I should say. Um, and I'm sure you'll love it. So anyway, um, before you know, swaying away too much from the topic, uh, I want to bring you guys back to this little trick. This is such a cool little uh, card trick from uh, from Henry Evans, and you should check it out. It's probably uh, $20 from Penguin Magic uh, if you order it, and I'm sure you'll love it. Um, do let me know your thoughts on um, card tricks like this and uh, Gilbert Principle and any of the mathematical principles involved uh, in, in presenting and performing a, a card magic mentalism trick. All right, thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next week.